Robots and TV. Yeah, boy! It's the Red Robot Show! And here's the host of your show, the Red Robot! Greetings. We have a great show for you tonight. Joining me, once again, my very good friend, Jason Berry. Hey, thanks a lot. It's great to be back. It's been a while since we've seen you on the show. Yeah, man, I really dig the new set here on Space Station number six. This is super cool. We're always glad to have you. You're here to promote something today? Yeah, actually, I'm here to promote uh, a new Vacuum Treehead album. Uh, there is a new Vacuum Treehead album, as I just said, and it's called Rizamik. Is that some sort of reference to Deleuze and Guattari? Yeah, you got the reference, that's right. Do you want to explain what that means to our studio audience? No, I'll let people look that up. They can look that up. Go to Wikipedia or something like that, right? Make them work for it, right? Ha 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 Yeah, so uh, it is an album. There's two different versions of the album. There is the standard CD version of the album, and that can be ordered at CD Baby, and here's the address for the Vacuum Tree Ed CD Baby page. And there is the Deluxe Edition, and the Deluxe Edition comes with a 60-page hardback book. This is the cover of the book. And the book is actually, uh, as I said, it's a 60-page hardback. It's a film script, an illustrated film script uh, that was written by my good friend Rail Sidebottom. Tell me a little bit about the album. There's non-compositions, as I said on there, the band this time around, uh, the wonderful Steve Adams on baritone saxophone. Yes, thank you. Jason Belenkis on many different saxophones and woodwinds. That's right. Amanda Chaudhry on synthesizers and keyboards. The incredible Richard Corney on guitars shredding like there's no tomorrow, I'm telling you. The wonderful and incredible Michael Della Cuesta, one of the most wonderful people I've ever been blessed to know. That's right, on guitar and synthesizer and various uh, tune percussion. Yeah, that's right. Give it up for Mike. That's right. All right, come on. That's right. Uh, well, myself, doing odds and ends here and there. What exactly do you do, anyway? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Justin Iron Man Markovitz on the drums, just incredible drummer. Uh, Amy X Newberg on vocals, as I mentioned, the incredible Amy X Newberg. Joshua Marshall on saxophones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, joining us for the first time this time, uh, Brett Warren on the electric bass, actually playing fretless bass on most of it in this album. Yeah, a very distinctive sound, incredible player. And also making uh, a couple appearances on lap steel and pedal steel guitar, as well as doing the engineering and mixing and mastering on this album, the wonderful Miles Boyson. Yeah, we got some Miles Boyson fans out there, right? That's right, baby. Yeah, so it's just, it's a great album. I'm very pleased with it. I mean, you know, as I say, each time we do one, this is the best one. But uh, this one is a, you know, it's a very special one. Like I said, it kind of caps off an era and it leads on to the next things that are gonna come. I am dying to hear about this book. Or rather, I would be dying if I were alive. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Well, the book, yeah, well, the book, as I said, there's the special edition uh, that comes with the 60-page book. It's an illustrated script uh, by my friend Rail Sidebottom. Uh, Longtime fans of the band will remember Rail has appeared uh, on various albums over the years. Just musician. Uh, writer, uh, puppeteer, actor, 
bon vivant and so forth. Uh, just a really amazing person. Uh, when we were getting ready to do the gig back in 2018, I made a, well, I took the set list and kind of made it into a uh, sort of a film proposal. You could imagine this first song is this one. This, uh, this song is this character singing this. And it turned out really well. And I mean, to my surprise, it actually seemed like there was a story there. So I gave that to Rail, and over the course of, I think, uh, about six or seven months, uh, Rail wrote this incredible story. What is the story about? You know, the story itself follows the sort of Joseph Campbell, Carl Jung kind of monomyth uh, hero's journey thing with a little bit of a twist at the end. and. Uh, just, it's, it's an incredible story and I feel it's positive and it's uplifting and it's got a really good message. And it's a kind of message you don't hear a lot anymore. Some people might think, you know, this or that, it's been done before, but as I said, you know, it follows a pattern, a pattern seen all across cultures and histories along the world. People can understand it. It's not quite as obtuse, abstruse, whatever you want to say, as some of the other stuff we've done over the years. So it's a great story. Uh, there's a very, very limited number of those books. I've only got a couple of them left. Uh, and people can contact me directly uh, via uh, the Facebook page for Back in Triad or maybe by sending a message to this YouTube channel to see it, uh, or rather, excuse me, to order a copy. So tell me what is coming ahead in 2020 with you? Well, coming ahead, I mean, there's, there's, there's changes in the air. I mean, the only constant is change, right? I mean, to use a cliche, but it is true. So there's some big things uh, coming up ahead. There's some announcements that we'll make when the time is right. Uh, you know, we'll maybe next time in a month or two or maybe three or even four we'll come back and uh talk to you about the changes that are coming up ahead i hope that you will we really love having you here you are my favorite guest thanks a lot i love coming here like i said i love the new place and i always enjoy talking with you you know it means a lot to me buddy you know you're great Thank you for watching. That's all we have for tonight. We will see you next time. Yeah, boy! It's the Red Robot Show, brought to you by White Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsip.com. And please subscribe to CatSip TV.